Hello, class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020. To the class of 2020. Class of 2020. Class of 2020. Hey, class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020. This is Mr. McGee. Hello, class of 2020. It's Mrs. Berger. Hey, class of 2020. Miss Forbes here sending you a message. Hey, class of 2020. Go Pirates. Hi, seniors. Hey, guys. Hello, CHS seniors, and greetings from my, my backyard here in Fishtown. Dear class of 2020, Uh, I wanted to start off by congratulating you on a job well done, finishing out a particularly difficult senior year. Congratulations, class of 2020. I would just like to personally congratulate all of you on graduating. And I just wanted to first say congratulations on your graduation and making it through more than a decade's worth of ruling schooling. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It has been an honor and a privilege working with you. I wish you the best and want to send you off with some parting thoughts. As you approach this milestone event in your lives, where you move on from childhood education to your adult experiences in unusual circumstances, take a moment to be proud of your accomplishments. Um, just wanted to uh, express um, how disappointed really we all are that this falls uh, upon uh, your most special uh, rites of passage, ending your senior year and celebrating um, the hard work that you've done uh, over the past 12 plus years. Um, hopefully coming out of this, we will all develop a, a sense of uh, perseverance and patience and, and um, an ability to uh, embrace science. This current crisis, like all things, will pass. It is important to remember that a generation of students more than a century ago graduated after a similar infective pandemic, and they still produced architects, scholars, doctors, mechanics, teachers, lawyers, business owners, politicians, and even presidents. Indeed, Truman, Eisenhower, JFK, LBJ, and even Gerald Ford were all children or young men when the Spanish influenza swept through the global community in 1918-1919. Likewise, a generation of Americans survived the economic downturn of both the Great Depression and more recently the Great Recession of 2007, 2008, 2009. Uh, I know you're graduating in what seems like trying times, but history is, should be your guide. Yes, this is time and that is unprecedented, but throughout history there have been unprecedented times in which perseverance and grit have gotten people through. I'm sure the class of 1933 felt, uh, no pun intended, depressed to graduate in the Great Depression. I bet you the class of 1942, as it was setting off to World War II, felt the same way. Uh, and there have been other classes who have had uh, that same kind of angst, if you will. None of us experienced graduating into such a moment as this, save for you. When the dust settles, and we as a nation, and more importantly, we as members of the Brotherhood and Sisterhood of Humanity, begin to redefine what our new normal will be, you will help shape our practices, customs, and traditions. Years from now, you will be able to calm your family and friends with your experience gained by navigating our current situation. Um, I know I'm supposed to give you some advice about what you should think about for your future, but and giving thought to that, um, today I was inspired by my dad. And I thought about the fact that he was a World War II veteran and he was part of what was called the greatest generation. And I know it would be, uh, you know, a lot to say that this is going to be the next greatest generation, but it is very possible that you guys have some of the same characteristics that my dad's generation had. For example, you've had to sacrifice an awful lot this year, and we are all very well aware of some of the huge things that you're missing out on. You know, you lost out on a lot of things at the end of your senior year, prom, senior trip, senior day, all those sort of things, and, um, you know, it really stinks and it's not fair, um, but a lot of things in life stink and are not going to be fair. Graduation is about you, and in this instance, graduation is definitively about you. 
about persevering and getting through this trying time. My advice to the class of 2020 would be um, just to keep being resilient. Do not let the anxiety of the present take away from the optimism of the future. You still earned your diplomas. No one else did. You have still earned your spot in the academic, military, or craft community that you will join come the fall. No one else did. You are still both the author and actor of your future to a large degree. No one else is. The future still belongs to you. Even though you are isolated from each other physically, my imminent advice is to find comfort in knowing that you will come out of this stronger and more connected than ever. But despite the fact that you've had to sacrifice, you've shown extreme tenacity and grit and determination and stick to and all of those things are going to be characteristics that are going to enable you to have the best future, that you're going to not be quarantined by anything in life, that the sky is the limit for you. Yours is a class that will persevere. I found success is achieved through resilience. I think the perseverance that you've all shown, the resiliency you've shown, um, you know, it's a hard lesson to learn, but I think it's it's skills that you have now they are going to serve you well in life, that ability to bounce back and, and to find the good in things and to make, um, you know, good out of the bad that's happened. I think that that really says a lot about your class, and I think that that's something that you should be proud of and, and take those lessons with you. Please never forget, you are very strong. First, you're entering into a world that is filled with um, pain, loss, and uncertainty. And we need to be a people of empathy now more than ever. So I hope, my hope for you is that you would be a class that is known for loving and serving their neighbors, known for meeting those who are suffering and for suffering with them, and known for listening rather than simply speaking. Uh, first, when you make a decision, always include kindness when making that decision. If the fall is not normal, in a way that the rest of I, the rest of us recognize in terms of how classes will be held, how socializing will be conducted, how basic training will unfold, or how the workspace will be managed. That is not exactly true for you. You have never gone off to college in the fall or gone off to basic training. Your experience will be your normal experience. This is your normal. This is your experience. And this too shall pass. This class is absolutely loaded with many different talents and I am extremely excited for all of you to embark on the next stages of your lives. Many of you will go forth to work in our local businesses immediately. Many of you will serve our most needy on the front lines. Many of you will be the first person in your family to go to college and many of you will learn extraordinary things and change the world for the better. While much is made of the so-called generation-changing discoveries and innovations, only very few of you will accomplish these tasks, and only some of you even dream about them. That's okay. You will all have the opportunity to remain the good people who are good to yourself, your families, and your communities. Many of you are anxious to explore the world beyond Cinnamonson, and some of you are excited to remain local. Having been a part of this school community for your four years of high school has been a pleasure, and I want all of you to know that you will always have a home at CHS. Our year has been cut short, but your dreams have not. This is your time, so make the most of it. You are a very tight-knit group, and you've supported each other throughout your high school career. For the past four years, I've witnessed some of the most talented young men and women make the most of every opportunity Cinnamons have had to offer. You have amazed me with your talent and your ambition. CHS has equipped you with commitment, honor, and spirit, and now it's your job to take that with you into the world. You make me laugh, and you continue to make me laugh when I visit your, your Zoom classrooms. Um, you know how to have a good time. And I love that about you. Along the way, you've learned, you've taught, and you've each mostly matured into a talented, curious, and driven group that will participate in, help shape, and direct our shared future. Uh, many of you are my first students as a full-time teacher here at CHS, 
and it's been great to see how all of you have continued to grow and build your success here within these hallways over the past few years. Um, and I know personally how hard many of you have worked to get to this point, and I'm extremely happy to see your names be a part of this graduation list. Don't tell the other classes that you hold a special place in my heart. As you entered CHS for the first time four years ago, so did I as a new teacher. In a way, we grew up through CHS together, and I couldn't have picked a better class to do it. I want you to know that you've always been a very special class to me um, because my son is one of you. I'm always going to remember you as awkward freshmen, coming into the building a little scared, um, trying to navigate your, the hallways of the high school. Uh, by the time you were sophomores, I was fortunate enough to teach a group of you, and we had, I had a great time. I hope you did too. You left your mark on the high school with the senior court project that we did. You worked so hard, and it looks absolutely beautiful. So many future sentiments and students are going to enjoy that. I'm going to remember every shovel you broke and every bag of mulch you carried in. And from my office, I have a bird's eye view of that garden. And every time I look at it, I'm going to think of you. So those of you who know me, you know that normally in person, I would just regale you with story after story um, about my own life and try to connect with you that way. But unfortunately, we're in this remote situation. So I was trying to think about like, what's the most important thing that I would want you to know before you move on? I have a ton of lessons that I would like you to know. Um, but if I had to really focus on one, I would say to never, ever, ever forget about hope. Hope is always there. Um, you know, she's a she in my head. And she never leaves you, no matter what. Even in the darkest times in your life, during any trials and tribulations that you may have. Um, just try to think of like a little slogan. Um, I always think of Emily Dickinson's poem where, you know, when I am sad or if I do feel lost sometimes, I'll just come up with the phrase, you know, hope is the thing with feathers. And then that always kind of helps right the ship a little bit. So please don't ever forget about hope. And I need to read you one last time. So I'm going to read Emily's poem because it's very important and you are not to forget it. Okay. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm they could have bashed the little bird that keeps so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. Keep in mind some of the great words from Corinthians, which is to have faith, hope, and love. And of all of those virtues, love is the most important and the most enduring because you, you, we know you have faith, that your future is going to be brighter than it has been um, or that you could ever think possible and we all hope that for you. My message to the class of 2020 is to please always remember that your limit does not exist, that the only true constant in life is change and that you have been an integral part of our community. Success is achieved by the sum of small efforts repeated every day so continue to convert the negatives in life to positives and keep a healthy balance between work and play. As you move on to the next phase of your life, keep an open mind, show empathy towards others, and stay curious. Do these things and you're truly going to make a difference in this world. Best wishes. Next, as you are out there reaching your goal and setting your path, measure yourself only against you. Don't look at what others are doing and comparing yourself to others. Um, I would just stick to what you're doing and compare yourself to you and yourself. And the most important tip I'm going to give you, and you guys who know me know that this is true, always have snacks on hand. Most importantly, chocolate, the very most important chocolate, M&Ms, and it will get you through all kinds of things in life. I wrote this after my 20s were over, so I hope you take it into consideration before your 20s start. I suggest living your life to its fullest, as I have. Don't be afraid to celebrate life, party hard, stray from a set diet, take a chance with a possible love interest, 
act immature or inappropriately, get into trouble, go out of your comfort zone, pick up a new hobby, make a fool of yourself, listen to loud music, upset someone, but then make up with them, spend or save money, more money than you think you should at any given time, travel far and wide, tell someone how you really feel, help someone, help yourself, open yourself up to someone, cry in front of people or private, show appreciation, learn something new, make a new friend, make mistakes, say yes or no, when you think you should not, work hard or sleep in, push yourself to the limit, do what you love, do what is right, stand up for what is right or what you believe in, or do anything that could cause you to learn or grow as a person. Most importantly, take care of yourself and nurture your family and friend relationships. The secret to a happy life isn't about money or fame or listening to what other people tell you what you should do. You really need to just follow your heart, follow your dreams, and follow your passions. If you do that, everything's going to fall into place and you'll find happiness. Maybe some of the experiences that I've had as a teacher and also as a college student and also as a mother might help you along the way. So my first piece of advice to you is to tell you that it's okay if you don't know exactly what you want to do with the rest of your life right now. It's okay to change your mind and just keep searching for that thing that makes you feel like yourself. Keep learning and keep investing in yourself. One of my favorite quotes is, you will always triumph if you have the umph to try. Second, I want to leave you uh, where our year began, with challenging you to get the most out of the time that you are given. Henry David Thoreau teaches us that to be human means to suck the marrow out of life, and he calls us to confront the essential facts of the world around us. Pursue truth, beauty, and purpose as you enter into the world so that you can come to the end of your life and confidently say that you have lived. Keep charging forward. Don't compare yourself to others. Be true to yourself and your passions. Success doesn't just happen. You have to create it. Weather the storms of life and make sure you're quick to capitalize on opportunity. The second thing I want to say to you is that I hope that you will live all the different parts of your life genuinely and for the real world. Social media is good, but the real world's even better. You have so many wonderful memories together. Make sure you cherish those memories. If I could offer you one small piece of advice before the end of this bizarre year, it would be this. Don't take for granted the importance of small memories. I'm not talking about the big ticket items. I'm not talking about the things that are forever immortalized in your yearbook and remembered by tons of people. I'm talking about the tiny memories, the, the private things between maybe you and, and one other person or a small group. Those are the memories that I find myself returning to from my high school years. Those are the memories that I, I hold on to most dearly for classes that have graduated here at CHS. It could be the memory of a great conversation that you had with someone. It could be the memory of, of the way somebody laughed. It could be it could be anything, a great project that you worked on um, that really is meaningful to you. For this year, for me, I will return to a memory of sitting around a, a classroom with a bunch of like-minded students watching videos of washing machines being destroyed for no other reason than it amused us. Now that story doesn't mean much to most of you watching this, but to those of you that it, to those of you that do, it brought a smile to your face, and you're remembering it. And that's the importance of the holding on to those small memories. They may be insignificant to other people. They may seem insignificant to other people, but to you, they're the most important thing. And uh, I'd like to share one of my favorite quotes with you because I think that it, this is important for you to hear right now. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. And last. I want to just say to you that I hope in all of the things that you do, you will always find a reason to sing. May the road rise.
rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. Until we meet again, until we meet again, may God hold you, may God hold you, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May God hold you in the Congratulations, class of 2020. All the best. So I need to say congratulations. I also need to offer that um, this too may pass or should pass and that you are in many ways better prepared for this moment um, going forward than you would have been without this. Cheers to you, futures. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. I look forward to hearing of the great successes and meaningful contributions that Cinnamonson's Class of 2020 produces, not only for our little community here in New Jersey, but beyond the state and even national borders. The world is yours now. Just please make sure you leave it in a better condition than the way you found it. Best of luck. I wish you the best on your upcoming exciting journey of life, and I wish the best for all of you. Whether it be through travel, schooling, or work, I urge you to explore the world that is outside Cinnamon City, New Jersey. I can't wait to hear about all the amazing things you do. I'm very excited and happy for you as you go into the next part of your life. I'm proud of all of you. I'm really sad that we weren't able to finish out the year in the way that I had hoped and planned. But I'm really excited to see uh, what you're going to do with the time that you're given. And I know that you're going to do great things. So best wishes to the senior class. Uh, you are appreciated. Best of luck to you, class of 2020. You deserve everything, all this and more. Best of luck to you. Good luck with your endeavors, and please don't forget us at Cinnamons in high school. Okay, seniors, don't forget about hope. I love you. Bye. I wish you guys only the best. Bye. You will definitely be missed. You need a lasting impression and mark on Cinnamons in high school, and I wish you all luck in the future. I can't wait to see you what you do with your lives. We at CHS are so proud of all that you've done and accomplished, not just this past year, but in your time at CHS. And we're really excited to see um, what you're going to do in these next couple of years, because we know that you have a lot to offer the world. And I truly wish every single one of you the best of luck in your future, and know that you always have a resource and support system from all of us here at CHS whenever you need it. And I hope you can all find enjoyment in this moment in some way, shape, or form, simply because you've earned it. Me and all of your other teachers, we all love you.